Women across the country say a brand of hair care products that claim to make hair thicker, younger looking and fuller can actually do just the opposite. But consumers and stylists who speak out about their negative experiences say the manufacturer is trying to silence them. This is an investigation that was started by our sister station in Las Vegas, but now a Michigan stylist is being sued in federal court for speaking up about Monet. So I tried it and I really loved it. Like I was like, oh my gosh, my hair feels really good. They have a men's line and a kid's line so the whole family can use it. Like I was very excited. Erin Ostby's excitement quickly faded when she says her hair began falling out after using the product she'd been selling. I was crying to my husband and not over just my hair, but what had I done? She's what Monique calls a market partner, someone who sells their shampoo and other hair care products on the company's multi-level marketing platform, mostly through social media. But the young mother had to walk away from an increasingly lucrative business when she says she could no longer stand by the products. I was very nervous to say anything because of the backlash I have seen of other people that spoke out about what was happening. In four recently filed class action lawsuits against Monate, the company is accused of using strong arm legal tactics to silence critics. We have to do that to protect ourselves from defamation. I was honest in not wanting people to be harmed, and I feel like th they're attacking me for wanting to help people. Monet is suing Highland Township hairstylist Kayla Baker, accusing her of defamation. They're demanding more than $225,000 in damages because of Baker's posts on Facebook about what she says are health problems caused by Monet products. I kept using it and I noticed immediately my scalp started itching. It was almost like a burning sensation. My front hairline from side to side actually broke off, so I ended up having to get bangs. Even though the FDA is now looking at nearly 200 adverse event reports about Monate, the company's lawyers say there is no scientific basis for Baker's claims. But her attorney is calling lawsuits like this extreme. It's an intimidation tactic that they're trying to come after someone that likely doesn't have the means or ability to defend this lawsuit just so they can have another notch on their belt. Monate would only agree to a phone interview. The company claims people like Baker engaged in a smear campaign designed to promote competing products. When we tried to reason with our attackers uh, who were bullying people online, bullying some of our market partners, bullying other customers and, and ridiculing them for using the product. We had to, to uh, file a lawsuit to protect ourselves from the attack. Baker denies that she's financially motivated to trash Monate online, and she says it's the Monate market partners who have bullied her. I uh, had one message me saying that I was doing it because I have mental illnesses. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. By the way, it is not a constitutional right to uh, com complain about a company. Uh, a company has a right uh, to respond any way it wants to. The Federal Trade Commission's Consumer Review Fairness Act protects consumers' ability to share their honest opinions about a business's products, services, or conduct in any forum, including social media. But that's not enough. This request for a restraining order against Monate has been filed in South Florida, asking a court to protect consumers against Monate's threats, harassment, and intimidation. Monet says one stylist has agreed to pay them to settle its claims against her. We reached out to several Monet users and those who sell the products and asked them to talk to us on camera. They all declined.